Are you going broke, staying home, taking care of a family member? That's crazy. Look, you shouldn't have to go broke to take care of your family members or loved ones, you know? That, that's just not fair. Now listen, my name is Kion Church. If you don't know me, I'm your new in-home health care guide. All right? Look, hashtag live if you're here with me live. Hashtag rebroadcast if you're watching this with me in a rebroadcast. So look, a lot of people ask me, what do I do? I help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now, you know, before we go any further, you know, happy Juneteenth, you know, and uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But look, taking care of more than one person is a job. You know what I mean? If you're required to take care of you and any other person, I don't care who it is, and you and any other person, it's a job, man. You know what I'm saying? And if I got to go work a job, I need to get compensated. You know, I don't know how long you have tried to do something and you couldn't get paid for it. It's a little frustrating. You know, it's financially frustrating. It's all kinds of frustrating. I mean, like, you know, if your pockets is touching each other, you know what I mean? Your life is not going to be good. <laughs> I'm going to just throw that out there to you. You know what I mean? My mom told me, she said, look, Christmas come the same day every year. Every year. You got to be prepared when that day come. You know what I mean? Because if, if, if you worked hard all year and you didn't bring nothing in, ain't nothing going under that tree. You're going to be looking crazy. You're going to be looking crazy. You're going to be feeling crazy. You know what I mean? You might want to quit. And guess what? You can't quit on your loved one because they need you. <laughs> I mean, that's just the bottom line. You know what I mean? Straight up. You know, you know, my pop need me right now. I, I just fixed him breakfast. He eating. You know what I mean? In a minute, we're going to make this dialysis run. You know what I mean? But, you know, right there, breakfast costs money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, gas costs money. Got to make that car payment. You know what I mean? Everything adds up. At the end of the day, it's no use you being frustrated if you can get a check. Don't be frustrated. You're doing a great job. You're doing an awesome job taking care of your parents, taking care of your loved one. Some people even take care of their children. You know what I mean? That's awesome. But you got to be getting paid for it, man. You know what I mean? If you got a family member who's Medicaid, already in the Medicaid program, and they're in the long-term health care program, you're qualified for a paid aid. So what do I do? People ask me all the time, how can you put a paycheck in somebody's pocket? I said, well, look, Reliable Aid Inc. is a Medicaid service provider. So what do I do? When Medicaid has some uh, clients or members, patients that are sick, that need some help, they, they call on companies like ours. You know, we come out and we help people out with their activities of daily living. So what Medicaid does is they call us and they say, hey, why don't you go to, uh, you know, Mr. So-and-so's house. We need you to go over there and, you know, look after him and, you know, all right, cool. Now, when I go around there, Mr. So-and-so's son or daughter is already there. Like, they've been there. They've been in place. They, they never left the man. You know what I mean? So what I want to do is I want to hire all the family members that's already taking care of their family members. You know, what I do is I just hire them and get them to paycheck because they're the people that really deserve it. You know, the people that's in them up every day. You know what I mean? Like, listen, me and my pop doing the three-legged race, man. You know what I mean? Like, that's how tight we are and that's how, you know... That's how much we together, you know. You, 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 you. If you, if you there, people calling me. They don't know I'm on a live. Look, if you here with me now, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. You know, hit some of them thumbs up, man. Hit some hearts, you know, man. Hit them wow faces, man. You know, if you, uh, if you're your parents caregiver, if you're your child's caregiver, if you, uh, you take care of your loved one in their Medicaid long term health care program, I want to put that paycheck in your pocket. You know what I mean? Call me. You know. Ain't no fun if my friends can't get none. And I really love a person like you because you like me. You take care of your parents. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all know my story, but I had to move back home. You know what I mean? Both my parents fell sick. Had to move back home to take care of everybody. You know what I mean? Now, you can imagine you making your own money, but now you got two more people you got to take care of. How financially frustrating is that? Especially if you're not bringing in no bread, man. That's crazy. Look. Them days is over. Call me. I'm going to get you this paycheck. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Look, that's the main number. Anytime you ring that, it's going to get me, and I'm going to tell you exactly what we need to do to get you paid, all right? Look, I got to go. Pop said he ready for dialysis. Uh, You know, 
Listen, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents and your loved ones is a bad thing, you know? We doing this to get our blessings because that's the kind of people that we are, all right? So look, I'm out. I'm going to holler at you tomorrow. Happy Juneteenth. They just made it official federal holiday. You know what I mean? We, 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 we all the way official. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, got a new day on the scene. Go out, celebrate it with your peoples, and uh, make sure you be safe, wear your mask, if at all possible. I know they called the pandemic off, but you still want to stay safe, all right? Talk to you soon. Peace.